What's up, Michigan? We have clipboards, and we have clipboards for a particular reason as we welcome you to the first State Champs Recruiting Radar segment of the season. And we're bringing in a new football recruiting analyst this year right here on the State Champs Sports Network. Many of you may have seen his work on the Michigan version of Prep Red Zone. So please, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together and welcome Alex Pallone to State Champs. It's good to have you. Thank you, thank you. It was really great to be here. All right, great. So we're excited to do this all season long. Uh, he's ready to go, give you guys some knowledge. But before we do, talk about your passion as it relates to recruiting and how long you've been doing it. Yeah, I've, I've been doing this since uh, 2021. Got got started with Prep Red Zone, did it throughout college. I just graduated in May, and um, really the passion comes from playing the game growing up, and I'm fortunate enough to do this for a living now. All right, well, good. It's great to have you here. All right, so we've got a week one primer here. That's what we're doing. So these guys, we believe, are ready to blow up this season on the field, and of course, their stock as it relates to recruiting. So we've got four guys to get into today. Let's start in Celine. Under normal circumstances, he probably would have been a starter as a sophomore at most places, but the junior Tommy Carr had to wait until Celine's best QB of all time set his sights on Notre Dame. So the former Mr. Football candidate is no longer their big debut this week for Tommy Carr, but he's already got some interested parties. He does, he, even though he he has not been the varsity starter just yet, this past June, he received his first offers from Bowling Green State and Miami of Ohio. The 6'3", 185 pound quarterback is set to make his starting debut against Brighton. He has a big arm, makes big passes look effortless, got a very quick release, and it's just a solid pro style passer. All right, cool. Well, we're gonna stay in Celine, and we want to talk about one of Carr's primary targets coming up this season. Ron Talley mentioned it in our Amble conversation that the off season can sometimes determine your future. So from zero offers to power five prognostications, talk about the ascendancy of tight end Lincoln Keys. Not just power five prospect, but national prospect now. He's 6'6", 235 pounds, again, zero offers at the end of last season, but since then, 30 D1 offers from the likes of teams like like Michigan, Ohio State, and Alabama, and he did that through his excellent off season, going to camps and really showing out there. What what do you think it was that it impressed people so much, considering it wasn't on anybody's radar? Mm -hmm. I think the f first and foremost, you got to look at his size. Six six two thirty five is just impossible to. Yeah miss. Also, even though he wasn't the most productive player last year, that straight line speed and 50-50 ball catching did show up. Okay, all right. Let's move on to Gibraltar Carlson Jr. Isaiah Wright. So from what I could gather, nearly 2,000 rushing yards last season, over 30 touchdowns, big interest in this young man. Yeah, really. He's he's 5'10", 200 pounds, really a perfect size for a three-down running back. Got got his first Division I offer last October, so in the middle of the season. And now he's offered by Big Ten schools like Michigan State, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Indiana. So a lot of attention there. He's great but between the tackles, a great receiving threat, and in my opinion, the most well-rounded back in the state. Okay, well, there you go. We're going to wrap on the defensive side of the ball over at Orchard Lake St. Mary's. They have a hammer in senior DJ White. 6'3", 200 pounds for DJ White. Michigan State sent out their 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 official offer on August 1st. They seem to really be the only school that's that's going hard after him. What stands out to me is his, his ability to anticipate plays. Most linebackers, I... I see kind of have to read and then react, but he really seems like he watches film and knows the play before it even begins. All right, well, hey guys, that's it for this week's Recruiting Radar. Where can people go to check out your in-depth reports? Yeah, on 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 Twitter, my handle is Alex underscore Pallone. You can also fi find me on Prep Red Zone Michigan, and that is PrepRedZoneMichigan.com, and all of my content will be there. All right, guys, let's do it again next week.